Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am here with Stassi today and she is right here. Um, and we are getting ready for the day. And so I figured I would do a video to show you what we're doing these days. Really, I've not really been doing anything different, but I know everyone has been asking for an updated Stassi video. And so I figured I would do this today so that you guys can see. Now I am on a very uh, crazy angle right now. So I'm going to try and do this. Um, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll try and move her face that, so that you can see it as I'm doing it. But I didn't have the right stand um, in here and I just decided to do this impromptu video. So what I am doing these days for her tear stains um, has tremendously helped. And what I have been using is this product right here, which is the Chris Christensen Peace and Kindness Colloidal Silver. Now, what I do is I spritz her eyes with this, with a little bit of this, um, every day, and it has really kept her eyes clear and clean. And one of the things I was worried about was the safetyness of this. And so I did call the company, and they said that it's absolutely safe to use, and it's actually great for um, even children with pink eye. Um, the lady said she uses it on herself. Uh, so I've been using this product now for quite some time. Um, I bet it's been about two years. Her eyes are completely fine and um, there's nothing in it that could hurt her at all. So it's good for um, hot spots and cuts and scrapes, um, open sores, fungus, um, bug bites and burns and yeast. And that is what is the problem with tear staining is yeast, right? It's an overgrowth of yeast. So it makes total sense that this is why her face has been um, consistently clean and she is um, she's doing really well with this, with this little um, gem of a product right here. So I definitely recommend this. You can get it from Chris Christensen's website. I am not an affiliate with any of these products that I mention, just so that you know that. I only do this channel to share um, what I have been doing in hopes to help all of you guys, because I know how frustrating tear staining can be. Now, the other product that I do use is this product right here, which is the same one I've been using. It's by Premium Show Pet Grooming Products, and it is the Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover. Now, to be honest with you, I don't use this every day at all. As a matter of fact, I have not even been grooming Stassi's face every day. I give her a quick little brush out, comb out, and that is it. I only do right now, you know, she's like, uh, let's see, how old are you, Stassi? Three and a half, I think. And I have come to the point where I only have to fully groom her probably just two to three days a week where I do her face. Um, other than that, I just comb her every day and she is staying beautiful. As you can see, say hi, Stassi. This is an up close personal view too. But anytime I do see that she needs a little cleanup on this area here, this is the product that I use. And all I do is I spritz it on and then I comb it out and I use a baby wipe. These are actually um, dried up baby wipes. They no longer have any type of um, solution on them at all. It's a very old pack of baby wipes that I have had and they dried up, but it was the hypoallergenic kind and she does great with that. Or you can use a soft Viva um, paper towel that you could just wipe like this when you use that Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover. Um, but use the, definitely use the uh, Peace and Kindness to prevent this area from getting all stained. You will see a big difference in the, or at least I have seen a big difference in the drainage in her eyes when I use it. When I slack off a little bit, I definitely can tell that the drainage comes back, but this has kept her eyes nice and clear and clean. So since this is a get ready video, and I hope that you guys can see, I know this is a terrible angle, but um, 
you know, we do what we can, right? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put pigtails in her today. And what I am using is the, I think I got this from Chris Christensen as well. This is the little five inch face comb. Um, I also use these bands. I still use these, I still have a lot. These are like three years old. They're made by Omco and I got these from eBay actually. This is the Fox and it's one quarter inch. This is what I use when I do her pigtails. And I'm just gonna take a few of those out. And then I also use the Armco Penguin, which is the 5 16th inch. Now, any rubber bands would work. These are actually orthodontic bands. So any rubber bands would work because that's all it is, is orthodontic bands. I think it's just the size that you need to be concerned with. So what I do is, let's see if I can turn her this way. Okay, so what I do is, now this phone is going to constantly want to refocus. All right, so I comb her hair back and then, okay, and then I split it down the middle and part it to the side. Okay, just like that. So we're parted down the middle and I split it to the side evenly. Then I take a very small section right here in the front. Maybe you can even see better since I'm on an angle like this. But it's maybe just like an inch wide. And then I make sure this hair is down. And I come out to the edge of her eye right here and I put in a one quarter inch band. I make two loops. And then I get any of these little hairs that may have gotten in her eye. Whoa. Okay, I messed up. This is live video, guys. Well, it's not going to be live when you see it, but I'm just filming, so I'm not going to edit this. Okay, let me do this again. Okay, and you don't want to get any of this bottom hair, so you can take that away. Okay, and you want to put the band not too, too far back because it's going to get pulled back when you um, put the other bands in. Now her eyes are going to look a little uh, slanted and a little taut, but we're going to fix that after. So you can see what that looks like, okay? Then we're going to go over to the other side and make a part the same way, about one inch deep, not very big, because if you make it too big, it's not going to work. And we are going to do the okay. same thing, making sure that this hair is not, this bottom hair here is not being pulled up into the band. Okay, so you can see what that looks like from the front. Again, I'm very sorry for the angle, but I'm gonna turn her around in just a minute so that you can see what I did. Okay, so now we have two bands right in the front, okay? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure my part is still parted, and then I'm gonna go back to about this area of her head and pick up the next section. Making sure that none of this front section is going to get pulled into that section. Okay, now we have this section. 
right behind the first section and I'm going to put in another one quarter inch band. And I'm just wrapping this around twice. Okay, so now we have two sections. We have the front section, we have the back section. So two little piggies go to the market. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's 10 little piggies go to the market. Well, Stassi's two little piggies go to the market. Okay, then we're gonna take this section here, same amount, and I wanna say this is a little bit bigger than an inch. So it's probably maybe like an inch and a half. And you see, we have another section. Let's see. Turn your head, Stoss. Okay, you guys can see that better? All right, and then we're going to put in the other band. All right, so now we have four different bands right there, correct? All right. I am still using her grooming pillow. And if you go back through my old videos, you will see all of the links to these products that I've used. Now, tomorrow is our big playoff game for the um, championship to see if the Saints are going to go to the Super Bowl. Now, I'm not sure when I'm going to... Uh, upload this so we may have either lost or won by the time I get this um, uploaded but I've picked her little black and gold bands and they have double bands on the back and I'm just going to grab both of them and I'm going to put it over the front pony only so just the front one okay then I'm going to take the other one. These have seen better days, by the way, but this is the only black and gold that I have. She needs some Saints bows. Okay, and then the other one is this one here. I'm going to have to get with Miss um, Lynn over at Doggy Bow Ties to get her some new Saints bows. But these are cute, and I love her with um, piggy tails. Okay, so now that I have the bow on the front section, I'm going to pick up both of these sections together, make sure the hair is straight, and I'm gonna use a 5 16 band, and I'm going to band these together. Making sure that the rubber band is down, far down at the bottom. And I'm going to wrap this around three times. All right, so now both of those sections are banded together and she looks like she's got slanted eyes. Don't worry, I am going to fix that. Okay, then we're gonna take these two sections here. This is the bow that's kind of floppy. All right, and I'm going to pull both of them together. And using a 5 16 band, I'm gonna bring both of these sections together using three loops to band them together. This poor bow has seen better days. All right, then I'm going to kind of, you know, do like this, a little tug to get them nice and straight. All right, I'm going to fix her eye in a second, but the next thing I'm going to do, because her top knot has gotten so long, I have to do this next part, which is different from any of the other videos you've seen me do, because her top knot wasn't this long. And I have trimmed this top knot several times, um, but it's just long and it falls in her face. So what I do is I pick up all Four sections like that. I pick up all four sections and I comb them together to make them nice and smooth. Like that. Okay, so we have all four of those together and I bring them and hold them together like this 
and then I am putting in another 5 16 band. This is what keeps her top knot out of her face, from falling over into her face. I put this band about halfway up this top knot so that it kind of sticks up like a waterfall. Now, this is not definitely a show look. This is definitely a pet look, but she's not a show dog. She's just a pet dog that I keep in long coat. Then I do this and this is what this looks like. Now, she still looks a little crazy because her eyeballs are pulled. So the next thing that I'm going to do is relax her eyeballs by using this rat tail comb. Now, this is a Chris Christensen comb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look and be very careful. And if I see little hairs that are like in her eyes, pulled up the wrong way, I'm gonna take those out of the band and then I'm gonna put this rat tail comb in the corner here and gently, gently pull it so that this relaxes her eye because you definitely want them to be comfortable and you don't want their eyeballs to be stretched. It doesn't look good and I'm sure it does not feel good. So, I just work with it until I feel like her eyes are nice and relaxed and nice and round like her eyes are. Now this bow is going to give me issues because it's it's kind of floppy. It's not it's not real stiff anymore. Okay, so you see how that eye is now nice and round and looks pretty and doesn't look, doesn't look crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I see one little hair that could be in the wrong spot. And then I am going to just gently pull the hairs with the end of the rat tail comb on this side. Combing out her little, making sure none of the hairs in the corner here. Okay, Stassi. Stassi, look at Mama. Oh, you look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. Okay, so there we go. Now, the last step that I'm going to do, see how this keeps it like right out of her eyes when you do this waterfall up here? I mean, it works out perfectly. It's just perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favorite drying powder, which is by Page One. It's the Page One Eye Powder. I love it. I have been using this um, now for a couple of years as well. Um, it was actually designed, when you go to the page, you're going to see cats, but it works perfectly to keep her eyes nice and dry, nice and white. It doesn't um, dry her fur out at all. And I use just a little makeup brush. I pick up some on the brush. And if her eyes do water a little bit, this kind of catches it to prevent this hair from being stained. Now, as you can see, Stasi is three and a half years old. She does not have any staining. I do not keep her wrapped up like they do show dogs. Um, she is a pet that, you know, does, does use water bottles. I mean, you have to keep her face, their faces nice and dry or else you will have a big problem. Um, so they do use water bottles, just like before. Um, I do put a snood on her to eat her food. But other than that, I mean, she does everything any other dog does. And her face has stayed nice and beautiful. All right, so that is it. That's basically what we do. And like I said, I haven't been uh, grooming her totally, like fully like this. Um you know, every day, which is great. I'm sure she loves that. Let me turn her around so that you can see 
How beautiful she is. And thank you guys for joining us for this little get ready with Stassi video. I hope that you enjoyed this. And hopefully I will be doing more dog videos in the future along with everything else that I like to share. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing Stassi. See, she's still just as calm. Oh, thank you, Stassi. That's really nice. <laughs> She loves to do that. She's like, okay, mom, uh, you got me all beautiful. Now I will mess it up. Um, but anyway, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a peek into Stassi these days. And as you can see, she's just as calm. She's just as good with her grooming as she has always been. She is just very, very used to this. Um, we have been doing this basic routine since she's 12 weeks old and she's just an angel she's an angel baby yes you are an angel baby the sweetest little dog ever for sure thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend and go saints bye guys